game day. It's game day, and you know me, I like to do fun things on game day. So today, besides doing baked potatoes on the grill, I am also going to do corn on the grill today. So, take some of my country crock and just put a whole smattering of it on there. Run my hands up and down the length of that corn. I see this one I can get my hand around. So this is a rather small corn. It's not a huge corn. Sometimes you can have those really thick corns. See, like that one's better. That's a little thick, a little thicker, a little girthier. It'll be a little tough to get my mouth all the way around it when I'm eating it later on. So we are just rubbing that butter all into up and down on that corn. And I'm gonna season it too. So it's not just the butter. You're gonna have some seasoning in there too. So up, down, there we go. Make sure you work it all the way into the cracks and the crevices on that corn. So you want butter just dripping out of it when you take it off that grill later on. So, and this one is just a little bit smaller. This is the smallest of the bunch. Yeah, you can really twist your hand all the way around that. There we go, up and down. Again, you wanna to try to work it in. Make sure that you get butter in all those rows, all those nooks and crannies. That'll make it so much flavorful later. All right, now, my hands are all a little messy, so I'm gonna take that off because I have to now twist the salt and the pepper over the top. Just a little bit of salt. I'm not a huge salt fan, so but I do like a little bit of the flavoring. I like the pepper a little bit better, so we're gonna grind some pepper right on the top. And again, I will massage that pepper so it's an even coat all the way around. See, so I'm gonna work it so that that pepper gets in everywhere over the whole cob. Yeah, there we go. Same thing on this one. This one looks like it could use a little bit more butter, but when you have it in your hand, you can feel that it is very, very um, evenly coated there. So now we're gonna move it there. And now onto this last one. This one got the most, the most butter of all. I could actually pull extra butter off of that and put it on some of the other ones that don't have quite enough. You see that doesn't have quite enough? So now we're just gonna use that. Don't worry, I washed my hands first. <laughs> all right, there. Now, ready for me to roll them. All we gotta do is take it and roll it up. Twist on the end, 